It's the Mad Guy Steve. All right, let's answer this question. So here it says x squared equals 49. In order to solve this equation, we have to square root both sides, which means we have to put our own square root into a problem. So in putting our own square root into a problem, we have to include the plus or minus if it's not already there. Whereas if the square root is already there, then we don't put our own plus or minus in there, okay? So here, we would say, okay, take the square root of both sides. Yes, that would give me, okay, don't forget that plus or minus. That's correct, okay? So we get two solutions, which makes sense. A quadratic equation has two solutions, okay? So here, x would equal plus or minus 7. All right. But now if I need to solve the equation like this, say the square root of x equals x minus 2. Now this square root is already there, meaning it's already, it already is positive or negative square root. Okay, it does not have a negative sign in front, so it's an implied positive square root. Okay, now how we solve this is by squaring both sides of this equation. Okay, so squaring this left-hand side gets rid of the square root. We get just x. Squaring this right-hand side, we're squaring the whole side, which means we have to kind of multiply this out, right? So we end up with, if I multiply all the way out, we get x squared minus 4x plus 4, okay? Now, it's a quadratic equation, so similar thing. We get 0 on one side, factor the other side, or a quadratic formula, okay? So here, I can get 0 on one side by subtracting x. So 0 equals x squared minus 4x plus 4, okay? And now factoring the other side, we can factor this pretty easily. Double, double, okay? x and x. And here, uh, we numbers that multiply give me 4, combined give me negative 5. So in this case, that would be negative 4 and negative 1. All right. So get 0 on one side, factor the other side. Now set each factor equal to 0. So here, x minus 4 equals 0. And then x minus 1 equals 0. And now solving each of these equations separately, we would get x equals 4 and x equals 1. But again, because our original equation started off with the square root, we have to check it. Again, that's called extraneous solutions. Sometimes those extraneous solutions can occur where they seem like a solution, but if we go back to the original equation, they're just not. Okay? So let's check it. Let's try it. Right, so plugging back in 4, we see that, okay, that is the square root of 4. Is that equal to 4 minus 2? That's what we're checking. Okay, the square root of 4 is just 2. Is that equal to, okay, 4 minus 2 is 2. Yes, these are equal to each other. So they check out. That solution checks out, meaning 4 is a solution. But let's check 1. If I check 1, let's see. If I check 1, then the square root of 1, is that equal to 1 minus 2? Again, that square root was already there, meaning it's implied the positive version, okay? So the positive square root of 1 is just 1. Is that equal to 1 minus 2 is negative 1? Those are not the same. Meaning 1 is not a solution. It's an extraneous solution. Meaning it seems like it was, but if we did all the algebra correctly, it just happened to not be an actual solution to the original equation, okay? So always keep that in mind. Always remember, math is everything.